pitch of a roof. Have you ever been in a conversation and someone's like, oh, yeah, that's a, that's a 412. What does that mean? I Sometimes you just don't know. But it basically is just a pitch of your roof and it just stands for rise over run. So 412 means rise is the four, over run is the 12. Now this example, I drew my my roof to be more like a 12-12 and I might as well just show you the example is it just means that this is your roof is just a triangle and it's just a ratio and this one would be a 12 over 12 so rise over run so every 12 inches it goes over it goes up 12 inches as well or you could have a 6-12 And it just means for every 12 inches over, it rises six inches as well. That's just the, that's just the basics behind it. I want to show you how to manipulate the pitch of a roof or a rise over run. So, for example, you want to figure out the rise. And sometimes if you look on a drawing, it'll be like this. It'll show a little picture, a triangle and this will be 6 and this will be 12. I'm going to erase this. This is my example. You know the pitch of your roof. You're framing your stud wall and it's uh, rake walls which means that as your studs go over they get taller as well. And here's just a basic example. It does it can get a little more technical but let's say you're doing a two foot center so that's two feet. So that would be your run. When it run over two feet, you're wondering how much will it rise. So it's and it's all just proportionate. So six over twelve rise over run equals, and you want to figure out your rise. So we'll put that as x, and your run is two feet. Then you just cross multiply and divide to answer for x. So you just go 6 times 2 is 12 divided by 12 is 1. So x equals 1. So this stud, let's say this stud is 8 feet right here, this first one. You know by basing on your calculation. So for every 2 feet horizontal this way it'll rise 1 foot. So you know that this stud will be a 9 foot stud and it'll just progressively get more. This will be a 10 foot, etc. You can do that same formulation for uh, 16 inch centers. So 6 rise over run equals how much does it rise if I have a 16 inch center. And I'll show you. Now I'll need my calculating device to do this one. So 6 times 16 equals divided by 12 equals 8. X equals 8. And like a, the 6 to 12 ratio is pretty easy, right? Because you know that whatever your bottom number is, your top number is just half of that. And this is in inches, so it's 16 inches, 8 and 16. Or is this one I did in feet? 2 feet and 1 feet. You can do it in inches, doesn't matter. Um, this is just a ratio.